Joining me right now is Rudy J. Ellis, the CEO of Switchboard Live, and we're talking about ways to go to YouTube Live, particularly if you have under uh, 1,000 subscribers and you want to connect through your mobile device. And Switchboard Live is one of the top options I can think of for doing that. It's also a great option for uh, multi-destination live streaming in general from however you're doing it. But Rudy, with this news, some people have been locked out of getting uh, from their mobile device through the native app uh, to YouTube. Mm -hmm. How can uh, Switchboard Live help them out? Yeah, thanks, Ross. Thanks for having me. Um, so, you know, obviously, the, the biggest thing that um, having a mobile phone makes you right mobile. So, right. having that ad advantage of being wherever you're at, whether you're on location at a field or, or doing, or you just don't have a, a, another type of camera. So, mobile is definitely huge, and is obviously the future as well. So, for us, you know, um, we're definitely, um, you know we're definitely paying attention to that and we're thinking of solutions to be able to provide for that. But for right now, um, the simplest, easiest way to do so is, is to use, you know, there are a couple RTMP based encoders that you can put on your phone, whether it's Android or iOS device, and you can configure those applications to stream to switchboard cloud. And then once to stream from your phone, um, your mobile device reaches switchboard cloud, then you're able to send out to, to your YouTube account, to your Facebook account, because you're doing the authentication um, within those platform within our platform versus it being that the native app. Right, right. Now, do you mind recommending a, a couple of the apps that yeah, uh, yeah, be able to get people sure. from their phone to uh, connecting with Switchboard Cloud? Yeah, there are a couple ones that come to mind. So one would be, you know, for a free version, you can use the the Larix Broadcaster, I believe. Um, they both have an iOS and an Android app. Super basic. You basically grab your stream key from Switchboard Cloud, plop that into the application, you hit start, and then your camera on your phone, you know, now that becomes your source, right? You send that in, and then you're using Switchboard to send things out. Now, if you wanna up, update your game or update your you know, video quality of your stream or the production quality, you can definitely use an app like Switcher Studio, which is, you know, iOS-based app. Right. But that, that is the same thing, where you can, you know, configure Switcher Studio, send that to Switchboard Cloud, and then boom, you can go out to YouTube as well as your other destinations. So now for people who aren't used to doing R RTMP, um, if they open one of those apps, then they go into the uh, Switchboard website in their, mm -hmm. their mobile browser, and they grab the stream key yep. and put that in, and that's how you use what's called RTMP, right? Yeah, and what, what we're doing is we actually have, um, I think for the Lyrics Broadcaster and Switcher Studio, we have a help section on our site that explains and walks you through how to go mobile, but you're absolutely right. You're gonna log into Switchboard Cloud, you're gonna grab your RTMP server URL, and you're gonna grab your stream key, which are basically the two main things that you need. Right. And you're going to, I mean, it unfortunately it takes a little bit of time, but right. you know, whether you email yourself or copy paste, however you want to get that key, because you, you can't mess up, right? It has to be correct. You plop that into your, whatever, you know, mobile phone app you're using. Um, and typically it's going to be custom on RTMP as the choice that you're going to choose in the app. And then once you do that, um, it's to set it and forget it, right? You shouldn't have to go back and make any modifications on either end or change anything as well. But but yeah, you, you do have to do that custom RTMP copy paste action. And how long is that stream key good for if I'm at an event and I'm not sure exactly what time I'm going to go live or maybe I want to do a couple of live streams in succession, you know, I'm doing a couple different interviews. Right. Um, how long can I uh, use that stream key once I've, I've put that into the encoder? Well, with Switchboard um, Cloud, our application, that's indefinite, right? And as long as you don't reset that inside the application, you can use that over and over. Um, obviously, you can only use it for one stream at a time, but you can use it for as many events or in, as many live streams that you start and stop um, throughout that you know, hour, day, weeks, what have you. So um, essentially, indefinitely, until you force a reset. So once you put that in, then you don't have to go get a stream key each time. you Exactly. Go yeah, exactly. And then um, once you've made that connection to Facebook or YouTube, you know, specifically, um, that connection will always be persistent as well. So right. you can essentially create your workflow and have that, um, you know, set up and, and, and really be repetitive about what you're doing. 
So once you have all that set up, then what do you need to do in Switchboard uh, in the Switchboard website each time you want to go live? Yeah. So um, start you start your phone app. You know whatever you're using, get video in, inside of cloud. And in fact, if you're using your mobile phone for everything, so you're out in the field, right. you're using the app, and you're on your phone, you would just open up and log in as you normally would if you're in front of a computer. Right. Um, verify that video's there. Um, and then just turn on your destinations, either independently or as a group. You can turn them on. Um, and then once your video is being sent out, you really don't need to use Switchboard Cloud at that point because it's doing what it's doing, right? It's sending the right. video out to your destination. So you can minimize, you can close. In fact, I mean, if you're using the camera on your, on your app, you probably need to go back and do one of these things or do one of these things, right? Right, right. right. So, so yeah, you, you, you don't want to be you know, stuck inside the application. And then once your stream's over, you just stop streaming and then um, switch forward, stop sending video out to your destination. So it's, it's honestly, to me, it's not that you know, big of a, a change or that big of a difficult you know, workflow, um, right. but couple times you'll get it down pat you'll have your 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 um your setup and scenario done pretty well so it, it really um for people who have channels under uh, a thousand subscribers and even for people who have more um this change is sort of opening up awareness of other opportunities like using encoders multi-platform yeah. streaming yep. ways to professionalize your broadcast and and expand your reach Anything else mobile live streamers should should know about uh, using Switchboard Cloud? Um, well, I think one of the things is if you were trying to go to multiple destinations from your phone, that would probably be you know not possible, right? Or you would right. really really kill you know the, the available bandwidth on your phone and, and so forth. So um, I think that's what opens you up, right? Is now right. you can you know stream whatever content you're doing to Facebook or YouTube or Twitch. Twitter, Periscope, you name it, right? So that, you know, that's definitely a, is a positive there. Um, and, then, and then the second thing is you're leveraging, um, think about if you were to publish that content, the right. title, the description, the metadata, you're doing all of that, you know, within, within our application. So you're not doing, you know, so you don't have to do that from, from the phone interface. So it's, it's really, you know, kind of a streamlined approach to, to publishing to, to all, you know, all those various destinations. And how can people get started um, with Switchboard Cloud if they're not yet customers? Oh, so go to um, cloud.switchboard.live. Um, you can sign up for a, for a free 14-day trial. Um, in fact, we actually have a 20-minute demo, meaning you can kick the tires around. You can add your destinations. You can copy your RTMP stream information to your app. Um, you can try it out for a full 20 minutes, make sure that, hey, this works for me. And then right. after that, you can sign up for a 14-day trial, um, no obligation, give it a whirl, and then boom, you become a uh, subscription you know, member after that. Perfect. We also have more information at uh, livestreamuniverse.com slash resources, livestreamuniverse.com slash resources. And uh, at the top of the page, we have a special section just uh, for getting on YouTube from mobile and, of course, uh, Switchboard Cloud is Switchboard Live is one of the options that we have up there. And then if you go down the page, you can read more about why I recommend using uh, Switchboard Live. Uh, it's been around for a while. It's a very stable product. You have a lot of uh, loyal customers. Can you talk a little bit about a couple of your, your customers' clients who are using it and uh, some interesting things that they're doing with? Sure. Um, so one that comes to mind is, you know, dear to my heart, our, our, um, we're here in Philadelphia. So the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, whenever you see, you know, new player signings or new, you know, um, press conferences or pre-game or post-game, post pre-game or post-game, say that real fast, coaches yeah. shows, um, they're using our platform for that. Um, we're starting to see more um, um, television affiliates. Mm -hmm. uh, think about it, right? You know, they have breaking news or they have different cameras throughout the cities, various cities. Um, and, you know, at, at, at different times, they want this content to be seen on their social channels. And it's, it's, it's an easier way for, you know, non-broadcast operations video guys right. to allow their digital content teams, their production teams, their marketing teams to be able to go live. And that's honestly what we're seeing a lot of shit. It's, it's now becoming, you know, hey, we, we on the marketing side or the digital content side, we want this live content to be seen here. 
And then the broadcast engineers and video guys, you know, they have their setup to do X and not really set up to do Y. And so we're a great bridge that allows for that. Um, I think we're going to see, we, we're starting to see, you know, I'm not going to say any names, but some cool political candidates, you know, that have their names in the hat for, you know, some of these races that are coming up, um, starting to look and, and, and understand a little bit more about what they can do. Mobile may be a, a key thing that they're going to do for, for live video. So it'll be interesting uh, to see that. Um, and then we have our, you know, stalwarts like, you know, universities, um, influencers, um, bloggers, podcasters, you know, folks like yourself that are, that are building shows um, that, are, that are coming out and doing things as well. Well, thanks so much for taking a few minutes, Rudy. Um, it's great that, that people have options to go to yeah. YouTube Live from mobile. And with Switchboard Cloud, they can go to several different destinations and get their content not only on YouTube Live, but on uh, every other social platform that uh, pretty much has live streaming. Oh, before we let you go, anything coming along for LinkedIn? Do you know where that that is uh, in the works? Or? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's funny you should say that. So we've had a couple conversations with the folks there. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's definitely in a place for us. So we, you know, I know they did a first push, um, you know, pretty early on. Um, and, and hopefully we'll be added to that next batch of, 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 um, of third party API connections that they allow. So, um, so we'll, you'll be the, one of the first that, that will let you know that that's coming down a pipe. Um, no concrete date yet, but I, I am really optimistic about that happening pretty soon. Well, that, that's, that's exciting. I know it's been sort of a slow rollout at LinkedIn yeah. for the, the average user, but, uh, eventually I think we're all going to have the opportunity to, to choose LinkedIn as a, a destination uh, as yeah. well. But again, thanks to uh, Rudy J. Ellis. It's Switchboard Live. The plan is Switchboard Cloud. Head on over to LivestreamUniverse.com slash resources and get that 14-day uh, free trial and uh, see what it's like to go out to all these different destinations as well as get yourself back on YouTube Live from your mobile device. Thanks again, Rudy. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye, Ross.